Um, as you can see from the title of this video, uh, I am going to be starting a Mega Build tutorial series. And uh, there will be plenty of parts in this, so I highly recommend sticking around and seeing how this all uh, works out. So let's go ahead and get started right into this. Uh, this is the part one, inspiration. Um, this is not the most difficult part of the build, but it does take time, especially if you're starting from ground zero, which is what I'm doing, or what I was doing anyway. Um, I have these pictures pre-selected because it made things easier, but I will show you what the process I do to find inspiration pictures is. So the first thing is um, I start on Google and I type either you know, cool landscapes, as you can see I've typed before, um, go to images, I'll just kind of browse through these, see what I like. If I like something, I'll select it. If I don't really like anything or if something give me, gives me an idea, then I might uh, put a more uh, specific search or uh, go to these more images things for the things that I like. Um, something I like doing is typing fantasy because this gives you a lot of cool stuff um, and this is just Google images uh, <laughs> the other site I use is DeviantArt which I will post a link to in the description for you guys uh, but yeah these there as you can see there's plenty of like awesome things going on here uh, that you could use and for the first picture, I was just trying to find a cool landscape, so I wasn't really looking for anything like structural based or anything like that. I was just looking for like cool landscape, kind of like this picture, and I found this picture, which is probably what I'm going to base most of the build off of, at least landscape wise. With these floating rocks and then this like lifted up uh, area here at the bottom, and. Uh, I also found this shark thing. I honestly don't really know if I want to use this, but I'm going to keep it here for now just in case I come across something later on that I might like to use, like these little things right here. But yeah, I'll get to that in a second. So after finding a cool landscape like this, um, I then went to uh, DeviantArt. Um, and I highly recommend going here. You could even go here first if you want. Um, that's actually usually what I do, but if I'm super lost, I'll go to Google Images and just kind of search for stuff. Uh, it doesn't seem to be loading. Come on, DeviantArt. There we go. Okay, so yeah, DeviantArt is a pretty awesome place. If you don't already know what it is, I very highly recommend checking it out because they have some really cool art on here. Um, I love just looking at the art personally. You don't even have to look on here for inspiration for Minecraft, but that's what we're going to do. So, fantasy landscape. Oop. Let's take that in. And as you can see, we get another big selection of like cool looking stuff here. There's there's a whole lot of stuff. So, just find one you like. I like trees, so I'll click on this one. And then you get these little reference pictures or these uh, browsing pictures to click on. And you can really get lost whenever you go into these things because this is more from the same person and then you go down here and you'll get like random people's other artwork and you can just find some pretty awesome stuff so yeah that's that's what I did with the rest of these pictures I went through and I found a bunch of cool stuff that I wanna kinda just add into the build on top of this landscape so I found this shroom and I thought this was a super awesome looking shroom um, and then I also found this uh, big beast thing and I kind of liked its face and uh, how you know how it looked so I figured I could add that into the build somehow um, I found this tree and I loved like the orbs in it and that gave me a cool idea I wasn't really going to use any of the landscape or the dragons so yeah just keep that in mind whenever you're searching for pictures you're not going to use the entire thing you're just going to maybe find like a spe gosh, specific thing from it and <laughs> then you'll select that and work from there so yeah, I'll just, uh, for this one, I like the atmosphere and the trees, obviously. Big tree fan. <laughs> uh, this one, the tree, the tree. Uh, I will post all of these pictures in an imager album for you guys so that you can see them uh, firsthand. 
and I will also have a picture or a link to uh, my personal inspiration folder or album on Imgur, uh, which has basically my entire like inspiration library, uh, <laughs> which is a lot of pictures, but um, it's it's pretty nice if you want to look over it. I would not be uh, hurt at all. These are some of the uh, inspiration pictures I have here. They're just random stuff. <laughs> it's panda, the tree, some fish. Anyway, yeah, we'll see some of that stuff. Um, so yeah, this this is pretty much all there is to part one uh, for inspiration, but the inspiration really never ends. I mean, if you're going through pictures and you find another one that you like, by all means, add it to the album and just keep adding them. <laughs> And add as you go because you're gonna need this inspiration a lot when you get into the real build because uh, there's there's definitely a uh, stretch when it comes to getting inspired once you start actually building. Um, so the next parts I will post a link or I'll post a um, list of all the uh, parts for this uh, series um, and I'll start posting links or to the videos as I post them. They'll probably be coming out once, hopefully I can do once a week. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that once finals start, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to getting into the real build in uh, part two with the planning. Um, and that'll conclude this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. See ya.